Lisa Nakasato and I am the Community Engagement Manager for Fame Corporations. So what we do is we help support the local health departments here in Los Angeles. And there's three actually here in Los Angeles, Long Beach, Pasadena, they're both city health departments and the big one which is uh, LA uh, Department of Public Health. We also assist with Ventura and Orange County. So my role for this event is uh, the project manager and currently we are having a Faith Leaders Health Summit. We are here at the Cathedral and in Los Angeles. So it's a great opportunity to bring different faith leaders and community leaders into one room to discuss how um, synergistic health and um, spirituality, physical health and spirituality can be. So it's a very exciting event. I'm Anna Para. I'm the Communications and Development Manager for the California Center for Public Health Advocacy. And I work for the organization that um, is hosting this event today. I was on the organizing team to pull together uh, the speakers for the program. I also promoted the program. Um, it had both my communications hat and my development hat on to get support for the program um, to underwrite the lunch and some of the fees that it would take to put a, an event like this together. It's really important to bring faith leaders into the conversation of health, wellness, nutrition, because we know that it's not a one aspect um, epidemic. We have to tackle it from a couple of different sides. We need to take a holistic approach, not just a one aspect of policy or one aspect of school. It's more than that, it's community based and community has a wide definition to that. And um, faith leaders have a huge portion in that because a good chunk of people still go to church and they have faith leaders and um, it's their responsibility and our responsibility and the community's responsibility for our own health. It's been a lifelong goal for me to get a master's degree, but one that really had some meaning and tied in really well with the um, more than 20 year career I've had in community outreach and corporate philanthropy. And I feel that social impact will not only um, help me take the work that I do to the next level, but also help me um, generate a deeper impact in the work that I do personally and professionally. With 20 years of experience reaching out to the community and uh, managing corporate philanthropy, um, working for nonprofit organizations and even elected officials, it doesn't matter that I have the 20 years experience. There is always something new to learn, uh, there are always best practices to share, and there are always new strategies to develop to be um, more strategic in leveraging the resources that we have to make that positive change in, in social impact. Where to go from here? More social change, more positive impact, more um, bettering of the community, more activism, more awareness. I think that's really what needs to happen and um, it's slowly happening. I think we are definitely in this movement with healthcare and longevity and preventative um, that it's no longer a one-sided issue. It's definitely become a community issue. It's not just your family issue. No, it's your neighbor, it's your block it's definitely become that big in scope. And um, just a few families at a time, a few people at a time, we can definitely make change. So my hope is to be guided to become a change agent in my community.